In this video, we're going to learn how to use the global keyword in Python. So the global keyword allows us to create global variables inside of functions and to assign to global variables inside of functions. So we could create a global variable here with x is equal to 20. Then we could create a function called function and this function can actually access the variable x. We could have print and then x function colon and we'll output x. Then down here we could call the function and if we save the program and try it out, we'll see the function does access that global x variable because here we output 20. Now if we try to assign to x inside the function, we might not get the behavior we expect. So here, if we have x is equal to 10, it looks like we're modifying the value of the global variable x and setting it equal to 10. Here, when we output x, we now expect it to be 10. We would also expect x to be 10 after calling the function. So here we could have print and then x outside colon and then x to output the value of x after calling the function. If we save the program and try it out, we see we get x function 10, x outside 20. So what's actually happened is when we assigned 10 to x, we actually created a new local variable to this function called x. And this variable x here is not the same as this global variable x here. So inside the function, x is now set to 10. But outside the function, x is still set to 20 because we're accessing the global variable x. To actually have this function be able to assign to the global variable x, we have to have here global and then x. This will give this function the ability to assign to the global variable x. If we save the program now and try it out, now we'll get x function 10, x outside 10, because now the function actually modified the global variable x and we actually set it equal to 10. So when we output x outside the function here, we get that x is 10. Now we can also use the global keyword to create new global variables inside of functions. So for example, I could have here global and then new variable, and I could assign to new variable the value 200. Then down here, after calling the function, the new variable will exist. And we could have here print new variable colon and we'll output the new variable value and if we save the program and try it out we'll get here that new variable is 200. Now we couldn't read a value from new variable before calling the function because the function actually creates the variable. So here if before calling the function I had print and then new variable colon and new variable this time, if I save the program and try to run it, we'll get an error here. It says name new variable is not defined. And that's because it's the function that actually creates that global variable by using the global keyword here. So be aware of that. Now the global keyword can also be used inside of inner functions to create and assign to global variables. So we could create an inner function called inner here. And inside this inner function, we'll have global x, and x is equal to 30, and we'll output here x inner colon, and then x. Then we'll call inner inside of function here. So now the inner function should also access the global variable x and set x to 30. So then here, after calling the function, x should now be 30. If we save the program and try it out, we do get here that x has been set to 30 inside the inner function here, but that function is accessing the global variable x. And we can see that because when we output the global variable x with x outside here, we get that x is now set to 30. Now notably, using the global keyword outside of a function won't really have any effect. So here, if we had, let's say, global x, this won't really do anything. If we save the program and run it, it's going to work the same way. So this is how we can use the global keyword in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.